I'm going to do a little introduction and I'll give you the heads up. Um, so anyway, no, what I'm featuring here is 20 of my favorite nature, landscape, um, macro, abstract photographs that um, it's probably always been my, my passion um, and my therapy, nature that is. Uh, but I also have a wide uh, diversity of, of my commercial photography as well, including people from weddings, TED, to uh, <laughs> um, events, uh, corporate events, birthday parties, um, family groups, and um, some, a lot of architecture. Architects have hired me, uh, interior designers as well, and realtors, um, and some product work. But anyway, um, I put out a monthly email that I call Photo Healing, which is based on a slideshow I did uh, started in the early uh, 90s, um, put to music, which we don't have tonight, just my voice, um, but also my narrative. So I, I do enjoy writing, I always have, and eventually we'll be publishing this um, work of mine in book form, calendars and greeting cards and the whole nine yards. <laughs> I do this for five minutes. Okay. Yeah. So, right Thank you, Spike. <laughs> Spanning 25 years, this uh, photograph was originally shot on Kodachrome in Mount Shasta, Northern California. Um, my Photoshop skills really don't do much to the photos other than crop um, curves and maybe um, levels. Uh, I like to shoot what I see and show what I shot. These are lenticular clouds, unretouched. Uh, Mount Shasta is an amazing uh, mountain in Northern California, volcano. Um, this is probably 15 years old um, at the Botanical Gardens. They no longer have these lily pads, these type, but um, it's one of my favorite abstracts. Uh, nature is the best artist, and I can only hope to uh, mimic her. And that, is another abstract close to home on my window, actually. It's condensation. <laughs> um, but I love the, the wide angle to the macro world of photography. It's another shot here on my window during the polar vortex. <laughs> thank you for crummy storm windows. They provide uh, the sun shining behind, created a galaxy of stars in that frost and ice. 2007, I was fortunate enough to go to Taiwan, and this is one of my favorite shots from there. Uh, Sun Moon Lake, our little resort. That's a man-made infinity pool in the foreground, a foggy lake just beyond it, and a uh, peninsula after that. Um, flowers are fantastic. You can only photograph them so many ways. I endeavor to keep finding new ways. I like this. I call it the hypnotic yellow rose. I grow a lot of my own subjects as well. Um, I love gardening. So this bloomed in my home just a couple months ago. <coughs> and gardening also attracts lots of friendly little critters. And who doesn't love hummingbirds? Though getting awesome shots of it, in my opinion, is, is difficult. They're fast and backgrounds and foregrounds are, have to be dealt with. Um, this is out of season, but I don't care. I love autumn, fall, <laughs> spring and fall, my two favorite seasons here in Cleveland. This is in the Cuyahoga Valley. We're so lucky to have a national park in our own backyard. <coughs> or near here, Lakeview Cemetery, some of the oldest growth specimen trees and plants and shrubs you'll find anywhere in Northeast Ohio. Um, Again, nature making this up. I'm just copying it. Not too far, just across Pennsylvania, is uh, what I call a bowl of Fruit Loops. Um, <laughs> the colors were amazing that one particular October, I think. Um, going back to 1992 again, Kodachrome, during. Um, what I later learned was a spectacular sunsets created by the, the big volcano eruption in the Philippines, Mount Pinatubo. And capturing things that are hard to recreate is also a love of mine, which, of course, weather and lightning 
you can uh, never have two exactly the same and when you can combine them with clear skies or sunsets or something interesting or a calm still lake eerie um, it's just always fascinates me as long as I don't get uh, struck um, <laughs> I'm one of those photographers that can take some chances. I like lightning so many so much I included three of them here. And the longer you leave the shutter open on the on the camera uh, tripod, the more lightning strikes you'll get. This may be a 30 to 60 second exposure. Uh, fireworks are often an interest of mine too, but not just standard. I have created abstract fireworks by manipulating the focus ring during the exposure. So some of it's sharp, some of it's blurry, out of focus. And um, it just makes them more interesting to me. In February, full moon, over downtown, I was at the right spot at the right time. And um, I, I've left Cleveland ever since I moved here in 1980. And of course, go Cavs. Woo!